What's going on everyone? My name is Kyle and welcome back to another episode of the Search and Destroy Challenge. Um, today we're looking at Spaz 12 Challenge and we're just going to get directly into this one because I want to pump out some more challenges for you guys as quick as possible. So as soon as I'm done this video, I'm going to go ahead and pick another challenge from the comment section and try and get it up for you guys as soon as possible. Uh, so anyway, this challenge right here, which was uh, deemed the Spaz 12 Challenge uh, by yours truly, um, was requested by a YouTuber or a subscriber of mine, but that goes by the name of Mr. Nick FR. His link will be in the description. Thanks again for the challenge. If you guys want to thank him for sending in this challenge and for me going for it, um, you guys can do that. That would be pretty awesome as well. Uh, but let's talk a little bit about the challenge. Had to use the Spaz 12 with Red Dot and Kick. Perks and kill streaks were all up to myself, and I'll talk about why I chose the combo that I ended up going with. And I had to get at least 15 kills. I'm almost sure that the deaths didn't matter because um, they weren't really specified how many I could have in the certain challenge request so I automatically assumed uh, like most of you guys have saying like 15 and 3 seems to be um, the majority of the score that a lot of you guys have been uh, saying so I didn't really want to get three or more deaths I kind of set it up I was like you know what I only want to get um, one or two being my max and I ended up going 15 and 1 which was uh, pretty good considering this was uh, the first time that I really got hands-on with um, the Spaz 12 shotgun in Modern Warfare 3 uh, because originally when I play Call of Duty like all I think about is going for gameplays and just having you guys in the back of my mind saying like these guys they want to see some ridiculously awesome gameplay um, but with that being said I always use sort of like the overpowered setups or the easier setups just to try and put up more kills uh, but the beauty of this series is that you guys are requesting setups and requesting all sorts of crazy stuff that I would never even imagine just trying for and the fact that you guys are enjoying it so much is just really motivating me um, to go and try these challenges because I'm using weapons I'm using perks and combos with attachments and proficiencies that I literally wouldn't have ever thought about using before um, so let's take a little look at the class setup um, aside from the Spaz 12 with the red dot and the kick because I decided to go with um, my typical um, rushing setup which would be extreme conditioning sit rep and assassin and I decided to go with the the regular assault streaks of three five and six um, I don't really well I kind of said it in one of my previous videos that UAV doesn't really do a whole lot in search anymore but I still like that satisfaction of getting a three kill streak and I still like the probability that maybe at least one or two people may be on the radar and I may be able to help out uh, my team teammates pick up one or two kills or hell maybe I might pick up a few kills by getting just a simple little three kill streak and I find that sometimes um, if I could use a UAV just to get one kill it always leads to my next kill streak and um, after um, UAV I have Predator and Precision which always change together uh, relatively well and um, decided to go with the MP9 as my secondary just because Spaz 12 you have to be really close to these enemies like I, I, I can't really stress it enough like I don't have the best connection in the world so I literally have to make sure my shots are dead on and that I'm in like I'm really close to enemies if I'm ever gonna shoot off because if not they're gonna hear me they're gonna kill me and um, it's just not gonna be a good time <laughs> for me and you guys won't get any gameplays from me but anyway yeah like I said the Spaz 12 um, like I didn't have the opportunity to rank it up to get damage to get all this so this was literally me ranking it up to level 12 and I got it to level 12 this was like the second or third game that I actually got to put the red dot sight on it and use it and I got this uh, 15 one 50 I almost said 50 and 1 the 15 and 1 um, with this gun um, I do get like three or four kills with the mp9 but you guys really gotta understand that um, Village is a map that has a lot of long sight lines, so I can't always use the shotgun to my advantage because when I'm rushing directly in, it's not going to work out if people are just head glitching behind boxes and people are just sitting back in the spawn and all that sort of stuff. It's not going to not gonna pan out relatively well. Um, maybe if I was playing on bootleg or playing on a map like C-Town, then yes, I definitely could have pulled that off. Uh, but right here, you saw that there were two enemies. They were all in this general area of the bomb. I kept hearing them run around in circles, and I just really could not figure out where each and each and every one of them was, because there's only two, and I was just trying to figure out, and I was just running around in circles, and I couldn't find anybody, and then it got time where the bomb was about to explode, and there's still two guys left, and I just could not go and get it. Uh, but anyway, guys, the gameplay is starting to wrap up here. This is the last and final round for this challenge, so I want to just take this opportunity to um, let you guys know that 
You guys can leave as many challenges as you want in the description, as far-fetched and as ridiculous as they may seem, because some of them, uh, I look at and I think, you know what, I would never ever do this, but then I think about, you know what, maybe I should try this, because this could be fun and you guys might enjoy it if I actually end up going uh, for it. But like I said, um, please leave your challenges in the comment section. Also, you guys can name the challenges, because lately I've been just putting, like, um, lame uh, challenge titles <laughs> on these, but you guys can name them. Uh, a few of you guys actually went to the effort of coming up with a name for your challenge, uh, but you guys can leave those in the description, and I will talk to you guys in the next challenge or in the next video, so uh, have a good day.